we are playing a game called Road 96. It just came out. I played a demo before during a summer Steam thing when it was available. And as you can see, I already played a bit. That is because last time I started recording this, however, there was a storm and uh, it cut off my power, so the recording got corrupted. And that's about it. So, I guess the easiest way to show this game is to simply start a new one. Hey there. So, you're one of us, aren't you? Mind if I ask you a few questions? Question one. When you travel, you usually... Travel by yourself, I guess. Oh man, that's really sad. <laughs> Kidding. So, next question. When you're traveling, do you follow the itinerary or are you more spontaneous? Well, neither, but I guess I try to be on time for things. Good to know. And what about politics? What would you do if you disagreed with our country's government? Hmm. All honestly, all of these, but in reality, not much of anything. Oh, one last question. When you watch a movie, you do so to... But you might also watch a movie to... Haha, <laughs> thanks. Good to know. And I guess you're like the other runaway teens, trying to flee Petria. It's really dangerous to cross the border. And you have to be careful with the people you meet on the way. Believe me. Don't go fainting on me. But each decision could shape your destiny and Petria's too. Okay, I guess it's time for you to hit the road. I hope you're ready. Alright, so this is a game about escaping the border. In sort of a communist-style Midwest US uh, setting. Kind of weird, but it works. Here at our nation's border under National Mountain, the site of the Black Brigade terrorist attack in 86. If you don't remember, hundreds died that day when a brigade truck carrying explosive devices crashed into the mountain, triggering its peak to collapse. In two months, on the same day as the nation's election, in the same spot where I'm standing, the 10 year commemoration honoring the victims. Stand and Give us all your darn money, bitch! Yeah, all your darn money! Robbery in progress. All cars in the area respond immediately. Unit 2 here, on my way. Over. President Tyrak, the man who built the border wall behind me, protecting our nation, will be there. Protecting our nation? Ha! Huh. This event promises to be a solemn moment, and a time to celebrate the announcement of our next president. <sighs> Total BS. Of course, I'll be there live, giving you the real story as it unfolds. This has been GNN Sonia Sanchez reporting live. Okay, so here we go. Every time you start, you start at a different scene. I, I, I had starts including them about like five times. It's always different. And uh, the game is designed to be replayed over and over again. And I think in total you play a 16s. Goldfinger. Oh. Thanks for the ride, homegirl. Now I got time to work on this game. This is Alex. You're one to talk, don't you think? Just drop me someplace with free electricity, okay? Need to charge my super dope tech in the back. Alex's backpack, it's full of dope tech. Yo, go on. Ask me a question. I can multitask like an mf -er. <laughs> um No way to cross the border? I don't want to escape myself. But 
Well, I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a girl who crossed using some secret tunnels at the border. I'd crawl through the sewer to escape. I'm gonna be honest with you. Personal hygiene is very important to me. Now, let me get back to this beta. Let me just pick this up. Um, kind of busy right now. All right. I sell my games, you know. Built that computer too. One day, everyone will have a computer like that. Nah, too small and tight. I'm telling you, small computers are the future. Hungry? Ask your small computer for food. Lost? Ask your small computer for directions. <laughs> you can't talk to computers. You'll see, homegirl. You'll see. Yo, are we gonna play this bad boy or not? So, I did this in the demo, but let's do it again. Um, sure, but I might be really bad. No way you're worse than an adult. It's called Furious Tanks. You got tanks, and they're furious. You're blue. This is easy mode. Red tank can't fire. It's like begging you to blow it up. You got skills. Now we play for real. Uh-oh. Alex is about to take off the gloves. Yo, maybe we can make it better. Maybe the player has to gather ammo? Maybe the bullets bounce off the walls? What do you think? Um, bouncing bullets? Let me just... Boom! Game time, yo. So, what do you think? And be honest, I hate liars. I mean, it's a shit game. Uh, I prefer disappearing bullets. Okay, let me change this real quick. Done. So, what do you think now? Still a shit game. I'm not really feeling it. Yeah, guess it's not quite ready yet. Needs more incubation. Yo, one day 100 people will play the same game at the same time. <laughs> Only one would survive. Epic. Now that's a good idea. We gotta make that game one day. <laughs> You're blowing my mind, homegirl. Um, how do you know so much? Homegirl. That is a question I struggle to answer myself. There appears to be no limit to my intellect. Your parents teach you all this? Can you say something wrong? It's not you, homegirl. It's just... I don't know my parents. Not my real parents, anyway. Dot, dot, dot. You know the attack in 86? No, I don't know about it. In 86, the brigade set off a bomb that killed hundreds of people at the wall. Including my bio parents. I don't know what to say. The really sad part is, I got no memories of them. None. No matter how hard I try. 
I just have this picture. A picture of a man and a woman taken on September 9, 86, the day of the attack. Alex believes they are his biological parents. It's from GNN, the day of the attack. They appear for just one sec. I learned a lot about computers enhancing this. Whoa, that's super impressive. Thanks, homegirl. Guess I needed to talk and didn't know it. It will be 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks? That's steep. You can drop me off at the next location. Yo, your fuel is low. You're gonna run out of gas fast. Actually, this isn't even my car. I know that. Think I'm blind? Now, crank some music. We best ride in style. That's our first scene. So, as you can see, we have a couple of characters at the bottom, or people that we can meet that were introduced in that intro scene. And I think this game is more about them than the player themselves. Smells like Teen Spirit. Okay, so this is where my power went out on this scene. Which is in random orders, like all of this is in random orders. And as you can see at the top, we have our money and our energy. Reward, call uh, uh, 96112 if you have information regarding the brigade radio transmitter. So we can actually call any number that we find in the game missing things we are obviously the first one on this picture so that's what i'm that's why i'm guessing there are six available playthroughs to complete it if you have any information call 55555 immediately and then this is the new candidate uh, uh flores and this is the current one I mean, his name is Tyrek. Look at that picture, the star. Obviously, foreshadowing. We could vandalize it. But what's the point? That's a nice cat. You're gonna vote, right? No. You're wrong about that, kid. Voting leads to change. And change is what we need. What's the cat's name? That's Mr. Bottles. Don't be fooled. Dude is a wild man. Okay, I will be going now. Get your tapes and snacks here. Tapes and snacks. Mm, are you trying to cross? I am. That's why I'm selling this stuff. Well, it's expensive to be a runaway team. I'm going to... The well, VR we hungry, but... Let's just buy the tape. Oh, with this girl we have a higher chance at begging. You have any food? No. You're one of them, huh? Sorry, kid. I got nothing. You lie, I know it. In my other little try, I got food on a 30%. Look, 
Look, just give me the money and I won't call the cops. A guy got stabbed here two days ago and they never came. The cops aren't gonna show for this. I don't have time for this. Just admit you stole from me and... I didn't do it. Everything's fine. Is everything it's not okay? fine. She broke into my office and stole from me. Um, you have proof? Who are you? Her attorney? No, I don't have proof. <laughs> she turned off my security camera. She's a criminal mastermind. Your case is weak, man. You teens. I don't need the hassle. I'm out of here. <sighs> you didn't have to do that, you know. I was handling it. Sure. Didn't seem like it. Well, I was, okay? <sighs> anyway, welcome to the Night Skies Campground. If you like crappy trailers, this place is the best. Why are you up there? To look at the stars? I know, I know, it's cheesy. Uh, where can I sleep for free? There's some cardboard around here. You're dancing Carl. Hmm, I'm sure we will find it. Dancing Carl? He's like this guy who's really competitive about dancing. You'll know when you meet him. Cool. So, see you? Yeah, see you around, I guess. <coughs> hey, don't become roadkill out there, okay? Okay. I'm just re hmm. I'm just retracing the strap uh, steps I took before. What do you want? Um please I can sleep for free on my grounds definitely not what do you offer oh those are all different kind of rooms i would assume they charge your energy differently i'm right here yeah i know what do you want uh what is this place anyway i got trailers here trailers you can sleep in if you got the dough. What do you offer? Oh, that's just the same thing again. Okay. Okay, so I noticed this. 4166. And I wrote it down before. Okay, I still have it. Because I remember seeing a place with a number pad on it. Not now, but in the short demo. And I guess that's about it with this guy. And we can walk on the roof. I guess might as well. Still food. Big Santana. The TV's working again! It's a miracle! <laughs> okay. Well... I'm sure they won't miss it. So I don't know if your energy runs out, if it's uh, game over or not. I guess maybe we'll find out at some point. Rude, I fix your TV. Can I knock on the other ones? Leave me alone. Oh. Probably the ones that have the lights on. You don't know where you're going, do you? Of course I do. <laughs> if you want to run a trailer, go up the stairs to my right and talk to the owner. Otherwise, find the dancing guy. There's cardboard near him. I knew that. Yeah, right. 
I just want to explore. You said you give me another week. Maybe we can find some trash food as well. I'm going to vandalize it. Oh, here. Four, one, six, six. Oh, so it was for this one. Now, what's in here? Money. Oh, that's huge. That's it. I guess this is supposed to be like a storage shed for like unused stuff. Okay, that was worth it. This is 191.9, the voice of the brigades. This is your papa baby here. With the upcoming fraud of an election, more and more countries are calling for the resignation of Tyrant. I mean, Tyrak. But will he step down? Of course not. Which is why, dear listeners, we must resist this man and his government as much as we can. And now, here's a tune from a fresh new band. Remember, Papa Baby loves you. You left the radio outside, Denny. Turn it off before you get us arrested. Let's put my own music on. about the radio turn it off it's not me i swear okay this is about the uh, brigade radio transmitter and it's a thousand dollar reward I'm new here. Then welcome to paradise. You got any money? Yes. Nice, nice. Can I have some? Uh, it's just three bucks. You're real nice. And that's why the road is going to eat you alive. <laughs> okay. No, I shouldn't have. Alright, I'm guessing the last thing to do is to find a dancing guy. Oh, I can't do that. Sorry, you have any money? Sorry, kid. Spend it on the booze. Know where I can sleep? There's some cardboard right there. But I gotta warn you, I'm a snorer. Hmm, you know what? Okay. There's some cardboard right there. But I gotta warn you, I'm a snorer. I'm kind of worried if I sleep here uh, that maybe they will steal my money. Feel free to join if you can hang. So this is dancing, Danny. No one can really dance with me. I'm on another level. But knock yourself out. <laughs> See what I mean about not being able to dance with me? How do I, uh, uh, where can I sleep for free? There's some cardboard right there beside that guy, but he's a snorer. Oh, I'm guessing because he's a snorer, that probably means we will restore uh, less energy. What? I can't hear you over the music! How do I rent a trailer? You don't need to scream! Go talk to the owner! 
In his office. Yeah, you know what? It's three bars. So I don't think we have to sleep uh, in, in in the trailer. Let's let's do this. Hopefully, won't get robbed. We had like what forty four dollars. Okay, that's all right. Hey, 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 wake up. Come hang out with me. Why? Up here. Hurry up. Give me a second. Come here. Sit with me. Do you have any secrets? You don't have any marshmallows, do you? Sorry, I ask everyone that. Anyway, it's nice to have someone normal around here. So, how did you end up here? I left home at the start of the summer. I wanted to get out of Petria. Like you, I think. My dad thinks I'm on a big road trip. Truth is, I'm never going back home again. Why did you want to leave? To have a normal life? My dad says I'm lucky because I have a privileged life here. But that life disgusts me. Especially now that I know... Now that you know why. Uh, never mind. Think you'll make I, it? I don't know. Only about 1% of us do. Or so I hear. And you know what happens to the rest. The pits. Or worse. Wait, the pits? Where they send kids they think are gonna cross. Terrible things happen there. And I really hope I never experience them for myself. Well, enough about all that. Hey, why don't we play a little music? Let's play Bella Chow. I used to play this all the time. You know. Oh, it's me doing it. Come on, don't be oh. scared. Give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I want to do okay. that again. Now let's try it with the music. You kicked out. Uh, don't sweat it. I was gonna leave anyway, but I'm just sorry for you. I was gonna leave too. You're in a hurry to cross. I like that. Hit the road together? That's sweet, but I think I need to travel on my own. It's important to me, you know? Wait. Isn't she the voice in the beginning asking who are we wanna travel with? Like family, friends, alone? 
I like to travel alone too. Yeah, it's like we have to do this on our own. To become adults or something. Well, we should probably start packing, huh? Good luck out there. Oh, uh, this is for you. To remember this moment. Catching the ride sounds dangerous. So let's do it. Oh no, the Sonya show. Welcome to my luxurious limo. You're kind of far away. You're wondering why I've given you a ride. I am? I gave you a ride because I know your secret. What's my secret? That you're my biggest fan. I don't deny it, honey buns. Who are you? Don't pretend, sugar. <laughs> now relax. You must be exhausted from being on the road. I'm okay, I think. There's a normal sized remote to your left. See it? Everything you ever wanted can be accessed by pressing one of its normal sized buttons. Go on. <laughs> Let me just steal some brain. Uh. What can I do for you, Sonia? Who is that? Oh, no one. Just my driver and bodyguard. Nothing, Adam. Just do your job, would you? This is my job, Sonia. Sure you don't need anything? Yes, I'm sure, Adam. Bye! This should be nice, sir. Why? Now, I'm just gonna grab the normal-sized remote on this side and... Look at that! That's what rich people call a sunroof. Now go on, climb up there. Got a bug in my teeth. That happens. I wear a mouth guard for that very reason. Do me a favor and grab one of those fan letters beside you. I don't like to touch them much myself. Oh. Watch your back, Sonia. Okay. That's not creepy at all. What's it say? To watch your back. Oh, I see. On the pile labeled death threats. Uh, <laughs> you get death threats open? Oh gosh, almost every day. That's why I got Adam, my bodyguard and driver. As irritating as he is. Do you want me to turn the audio off, Sonya? Uh, yeah. Why would someone do that? It's a question I ask myself all the time. Believe me. But whoever it is, they won't do nothing. How can you know? I've been getting letters for ten years, Snookins. Yet here I still am. Sonia? What is it, Adam? Kinda having a moment here with my biggest fan. It's time. Time for what? For the Sonia show, of course. I never miss it. Now park those buns over here. We say it's live, but that would be way too hard. 
With the election only a few months away, early polls show Tyrak well ahead of Flores. And now for today's missing teen report. Unfortunately, we have additional teens and blah, 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 blah. You can ask me anything you want. You know that, right? I'm here for you. I do have a question. Any tips for survival? Ah, she's kind of dumb. Do you do stories on teens crossing? Teens trying to cross is our bread and butter at GNN. I've even heard about kids crossing via Mount National. Can you imagine? You should try objective reporting. Objective journalism don't get many views, sweetie. Wait, you feel that? We're slowing down. Ring Adam for me, would you? Yes, Sonia? It wasn't me who rang Adam. <laughs> so stupid. It was my biggest fan. Yes, Sonia's biggest fan? Uh, what's happening? We're pulling into a security checkpoint. Looks like there's another protest. And to think this was once a nice totalitarian nation. Uh, what are they protesting? Probably Tyrak trying to steal the election, or Tyrak increasingly taking away their civil liberties. Ugh, babies. You suck! GNN and his Tyrek news. They think my station is owned and operated by the state. Which it's not. I mean, not 100%. Here come the police. This party is about to blow up. Hey! Get out of my way! Yeah, you! Loser! Get out of my way! Hey! Get out of here! Loser! Sonia, please get back in the limo. You should listen to Adam. Aw, oh, you love your Sonia, don't you, honey pie? Uh-oh, they have rocks again. I think their anger is justified, Sonia. You're starting to sound like a black brigade, sweetie. Uh-oh, police is blowing this party up! The cops are using force? How can you call yourself a reporter? Now you're really starting to annoy me. You're in my limo. Remember that. Here comes our escort, Sonia. Finally. So long, losers. Well, we made it. Not that there was ever any doubt. Exciting, no? Yeah, yeah, real exciting. I'm joking, sweetie. But I'm not when I say I want you out of my limo. I thought you were my biggest fan. Fine, I don't want to ride with you. Adam! Drop this loser off. Yes, Sonia. So long, kid. Whatever, see you never. We are that close. Hmm. Infinity.
Okay, so cops are bad in this game, except that one, the lady. I can't, uh, by the way, go on the road, even if I wanted to. Everything okay? Just some car trouble, kid. What are you doing out here? Get back here, kid! You're smarter than I thought. What are you doing out here? Trying to make it across. I can't believe you just told me that. Now, come here. No fucking way. You know attempted border crossing is illegal. You're under arrest. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe Unit that was central. dumb of me. Unit 2 to Central. Got a flat and a in my car. You copy? Fanny to Central. Do you copy? Great. Now the radio isn't working. Oh, there's Alex. So I knew this from that little recording that I did. That she is uh, her adopted uh, mom. I'm not in handcuffs. Be thankful you're not, okay? And keep that trap shut. Ah, oh, come on! You're doing it wrong. What do you know? You're having a bad day. You don't know the half of it. I can fix this for you. Fine. What do I have to lose? Get out here, kid. But don't try and run away. You'll regret it. Believe me. Wait, can we not tell her that we met Alex? I guess Are not. you getting out or not? I, I don't know how. Oh. Bye. Oh. <laughs> I tried to run. Um, we could call a tow truck. I mean, no need. I'm here. Then have at it, kid. Okay. That's... I was gonna say that's dangerous. Hey, don't stop there. The pump's behind you. You know, you remind me of my son. He's always fixing things. Always breaking things too. Here. Stopper. Oh. You could have given that me earlier. Thanks a lot, kid. Gotta say, I'm impressed. Uh, just my luck. Come on, follow me. You know, we could just get in the car against the rain? Yes.
get along with other cups. Most of the time. Are there bad cups? It's just like any other profession. You got your good apples and you got your bad ones. Which kind of apple are you? What kind do you think I am? Good. You better believe it. So bad day, huh? It's been a bad summer really. Sorry. I just have a lot on my mind. Wanna talk about it? With you? <laughs> That's alright. No offense. Could help, you know. Yeah. Maybe you're right. It's just that my son, my adopted son, ran away. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Me too, kid. I... I knew something that he didn't. A secret. And when I told him, he got upset. What was that secret? I told him who his biological parents were. Or as much as I know about them anyway. And who were they? Dangerous people, kid. Very dangerous. Dangerous people? They were members of the Black Brigades. Whoa, heavy stuff. Yeah, I guess it is. Can I, ask, can I ask how you adopted him? You know about the attack in 86, right? I do. That's the day I met my son. Did the brigades really do it? Kid, I'm a police officer. Don't believe the conspiracies. So, you were there? I was working security. Hired to protect Iraq at the wall's opening ceremony. Then what happened? Everything was going fine until... it wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, rocks were falling on the crowd. It was awful. Sounds really scary. You have no idea. The screams. Everything was just so terrible. At some point, I, I looked down and there was my son, silent, covered in dust, looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I picked him up and brought him home with me. I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. No one was looking for him? I looked in the papers for months after, searched the missing children reports every day. There was nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. So you think his parents are dead? I do. What other explanation is there? I... I guess I deserve all this. I kept the truth from my baby. You were trying to protect him. Thanks, kid. I appreciate you saying that. I do. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Just promise me something. What is it? Turn around and go home, okay? Your parents miss you. Well... We could pay for the bus. Actually, you know what? Let's try that. We did walking. We did hitchhike. Let's go with the bus.
No, we are still not there. Maybe towards the end it will get slower. Welcome aboard, kid. Oh. Been on the wrong road a long time? A couple of weeks now. But it feels longer than that. You? About the same. Mm. Are you frightened? Mm. Sometimes. I know it's tough. But try not to think about it. What you should do now is rest. If you can. You'll feel better. Okay, just don't drop me. Awake, eh? Oh, he's gone. Where's the other passenger? He got off while you were asleep. Wait, he did rob me, didn't he? I had more money. I ride for a while longer. Yeah, hey, fine by me. He took my coins, I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that. The bad things you do have consequences, good things too. Oh, like stealing. I guess. They're almost there. Oh. So I'm guessing because in the very beginning we choose to like crawl through the sewers. Like we talked about that being a good idea. Maybe that's what we should look for. Well, we got no other option. Wait, was that a wolf? Ah, oh, never mind. This just doesn't fit. All right. Hmm. 
seems like this could be knocked down somehow later, maybe. Trust yourself. I guess. We could rest there. Leave money for others, yeah, sure. You don't have to rest, I think. Don't want to risk getting caught. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have left all my money in retrospect. This seems risky. Snacks and drinks? Can I help you at all? Can't make that out. Thank you and good luck, Oink. Are you supposed to read that? Don't. I have no idea what it says. What's on that? What are you selling? Some items to help you on your journey. Like a book about dinos? Okay. Ten-year commemoration of the collapse. There's some never-before-seen footage there. What kind of footage? Oh, just proof that the government had explosives rigged on the mountain. Hmm. No, I can cross. Keep it down, kid. You want to get my wife and I busted? Of course. Can not. we trust you? Of course. Okay. You seem in good health. Maybe try crossing over the peak. There's a path to the right of the trucks. But be careful. One false step and that's it. I hope you find your freedom, kid. We'll be rooting for you. Okay. So, do I go back or something? I guess I have to go down first.
that's if we have the last unlock. That was that icon. So maybe we have to do it manually. That last ability you on unlock if you register to... Uh oh. I guess their uh, website. And it makes you have more energy. So see that like missing bit at the top? Probably prompt me if I have to eat the granola bar. I mean, why I wouldn't just walk across with it snap? It didn't. What's that? Oh! Remnants of explosive possibly used in the bombing in uh, 86. But that doesn't necessarily prove it was the government, does it? Wait, are we climbing it? Holy shit. Sit over here.
Did we do it? Whoa. I can grab anything out of it. Are we jumping down there? If I should fall, oh, I can't fall. At least, not on that part. Freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. Eighty-seven days later, election day. And their journeys have only just begun. Well, there you have it. Okay, so we did it. Episode 1. Oh, I see. So one completion uh, until we get back to the same date, September 9, that we uh, got uh, introduced to earlier. And that's how the episodes are broken up. Interesting. We didn't unlock any new traits, sadly. So this is the vitality that I told you about, but if I click on this, it will open a browser. Anyway, I think this is a good place to stop and we'll pick it up from here in the next episode. Until then, see ya!